Hello, friends, family, family of friends, friends of family, anyone crazy enough to watch this, this is my first vlog ever, and this is actually my second attempt because the first one I said um too many times and I was way too lazy to edit that much. So, round two, here we go. Uh, so, Thailand. I have been here for just about two weeks and it's been amazing and it's been incredible and it's been incredibly hot. It's really humid. They're coming out of their hot season right now or their rainy their rainy season and it's still like so humid. I have the air conditioning on which I should actually turn off because it's probably super loud. So yeah, it's been crazy. It's been about like 30 degrees Celsius, so in the 80s for Fahrenheit for my American friends. But it's been good, thank God, again, for the air conditioning. And we're actually just a five minute walk from a beach, so we get a nice breeze from that as well. And all of the public transportation is open. Open windows, open seating, it's like nothing like I can describe Western transportation being like, but it's really great and there's an awesome breeze when you ride it. The other thing is, gosh, oh, what else? Um, culture shock has not set in, I don't think. Uh, it's still, again, really great here. There are some things that I'm like, oh gosh, like this is an adjustment. Uh, for one thing, when you go to the bathroom, there's toilet paper sometimes. If there's not toilet paper, <laughs> they have something here called a bum gun. Yes, you heard that right. It is a gun for your bum. And it is just like a little water hose to rinse yourself uh, down there so you don't have to use toilet paper. I'm still getting accustomed to it because it's a strong hose. <laughs> so it's like you have to aim correctly. Anyway, TMI. But anyway, uh, the other thing too is there are no garbage cans here, like anywhere. I'm so used to walking around, it's like, oh, okay, I'll just throw my trash in here. They don't have garbage cans in here and there's a lot of plastic and I'm slowly but surely killing the environment and dying inside. So I need to go out and get more reusable stuff. So things to know when, to, when you're coming over to Thailand. The other thing is that people are on Thai time, um, or as my mom likes to call it when, uh, in Hawaii, like island time. Thailand is not an island, but it is the same kind of uh, very relaxed slowness. No one's really in a rush. They take their time, which is fine when you're not like going anywhere, obviously. Uh, but in the morning and I'm like, uh, I need my breakfast and I like have to run to the cafe and it's just like, you know, everyone's waiting around. I'm just like, okay, this is like really slow. Um, so that's the only adjustment and that's definitely an East Coast thing too, like New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia is just like, let's get stuff done. Other than that, hasn't really been culture shock. We've, we're in a really great um, kind of resort town almost. It's still Thailand, but there's a lot of Westerners here. Yeah, there's a good amount of white people. Um, so it's not as big of like, you know, culture shock or like being immersed because it's like, I would say, 80%, maybe even 70% uh, Thai people, and then 30% expats or retired couples or uh, something of that sort. But something else I noted in my first go around in this is that Thai is hard. I was like, Thai is so hard. Thai is not that hard. Oh my goodness. Like this, this looks hard. However, we're learning more speaking and speaking is great because it's like, okay, so English, everyone's like, learn English. Um, oh my God. English, for anyone who doesn't know and has actually studied, has 12 tenses, 12, okay? Uh, so that's a lie and anyone who has studied usually like European language can relate to this too. There's like the past tense, the future tense, present tense, the past imperfect, like all of those tenses. Thai does not have any tenses, it's only tones. So it's like there's five tones, which I'm not going to do on here because I tried to do it in front of class and I failed miserably. Uh, but it only has those tones and then, you know, you just, it doesn't have um, possessive pronouns. Thai doesn't have possessive pronouns. So it's really great in that, you know, you say, I'm, I go to mall, like not I'm going to the mall. Anyway, okay, details, moving forward. 
my math is also getting better uh, with conversion. So it's like, okay, about 30 buy is about $1. And on average, I only spend between two and $4 on a meal and four being definitely the higher end. So really <laughs> doing great. I still need to watch my budget though, because otherwise I'm like, yeah, all the food. Street food is the best. The hole in the wall kind of restaurant type places here are actually the best to go and have the best food. Uh, my roommates and I found this uh, restaurant just a few places down from us that is really good. Uh, the other thing is totally random, but on the way over here, I stupidly watched Crazy Rich Asians and now I'm like, where is my Nick Young? Oh my God, kidding. But also really, really want to go to Singapore now and I've heard amazing things about Vietnam. We'll see how broke I am uh, by the end of this trip. But other than that, orientation week here was amazing. We got to do Muay Thai lessons, boxing. There's a really embarrassing <laughs> video of me doing that. Uh, we learned how to make uh, samtam or papaya salad, which parents, look out, I am making that when I get back, and it is spicy, but delicious. Also, yeah, side note, if you can't handle spice, do not. I wouldn't just... Thailand's intense. You're like not so spicy and then it's still very spicy. So if you can't handle spices, I would definitely be walking on eggshells here. Um, but the other thing too is we, during orientation week, we went to Temple Grounds and one of the partner um, organizations that we work with, I work with Explore Asia. One of their partners is Rescue Paws that they founded, I think a couple years ago now. But essentially they help uh, rescue dogs uh, from off the street. It's not a shelter, it's a clinic, but instead of me rambling on, I will leave the link below. So if anyone wants to check it out or help uh, sponsor dog or just donate, you can do that there. And um, my other two roommates who will be interning for Rescue Paws are revamping the website and everything. So there'll be a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, last thing, I went to an orphanage today, which was so amazing. It was a sustainable orphanage, so like the kids learn how to do sustainable farming, and then they have class, and they do prayer together, and they were so nice and adorable, and there will be also more information coming about that as well when I go back, uh, so that will be later down the line, but I'm really excited to go back to that. Such amazing people. Everyone here has been so nice and welcoming. So we shall see how the rest of my time here develops. I'm already down to 10 and a half weeks of being here instead of 12. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and talk to you soon. Bye.